So welcome to Resolution Mailing Class. So in this top, in this session, we will discuss SVM regression. So SVM algorithm not only for uh, support the both linear and non-linear classifier, it also supports linear and non-linear regressions. Along with linear and non-linear classifiers, it will also support linear and non-linear regressions. So before going for SVM regression, you must know what is the regression, a brief. So generally regression is used to find the relationship between the input variable and target function or input variable and output variable. For example, if you want to predict the uh, salary of an employee based on his experience. So okay, employee of salary and the experience with the entire depend on the unit relationship and identify challenge. Such type of relationships are identified using regression. For example, the performance of the students in the exam is also a regression problem. For example, you can estimate the performance of the student depending on the number of hours to sleep, number of hours he study, or preparation, or the health and hygiene of the student. By depending all these parameters, we can estimate the performance of the student in the external examinations or in the semester examinations. So these types of relationships where we map the input data to output. So input data manna the grey data unto no. A input data ki output to manna yeh data production chalan unto na mo. E output data ki relationships ne establish chetan ki we use the regression. Generally the regression is in the form of linear equation or is in the form of quadratic equation. Mek regression ne the linear equation le the quadratic equation format na unto na mo. The regression is a uh, supervised learning algorithm where we identify a linear relationship or a relationship between both input and output variable. So the SVM algorithm along with the linear and non-linear classifier, it also supports the linear and non-linear regressions. The trick is to reverse the objective. Instead of trying to fit the largest possible state between the two classes while limiting the margin violations, the SVM regression tries to fit as many as instances as possible on the street while limiting the margin violations. The width of the street is controlled by the hyperparameter epsilon. The hyperparameter is nothing but margin. Margin. Here the street is nothing but this one. So this one, for example, this green color will be your hyperplane. And these are the boundaries. These are the boundaries. These boundaries are called decision boundaries. The space between decision boundaries is called street, where the support vectors are lies. Support vectors are decision boundaries. So this one is the hyperplane. The decision boundary above the hyperplane is the negative, hyper, negative decision boundary. Below the hyperplane is the positive decision boundary. If this is this hyperplane is the linear equation, the hyperplane has a linear equation. I think the hyperplane of a value above the uh, hyper above the hyperplane is a decision boundary. Under then your value one is the neutral one. Under below the decision boundary is a one. Then your value one is what? Positive one. Under that is vice versa. If it is neutral, this one is the opposite one. Under the positive one, this one is the. So the space between the boundary decision boundary are called a uh, street so where we fix uh, where we maximize this street that means when you maximize the street or when you maximize this width the there may be a chance of including more support vectors then your prediction will be increasing so if we want to street lo space lo support vectors ane peripotayo automatically man prediction ane kuda chala accurate ga untundi anamata when you include more number of support vectors in your decision making it will be more accurate your decision will be more accurate the decision is more accurate count anaki chance anedi untunnaru that is the main idea behind the support vector machine in linear and nonlinear classifier just we are introducing an hyperplane we segregated the both uh, 
classes or different classes uh, after segregating we identify some data points which are near to the high profile those are called support vectors those support vectors will be used in the decision making but here we are consolidating or we are maximizing the decision uh, the decision points are support vectors by introduce, by introducing a decision boundary in in the decision boundary we will draw the hyperplane in between the decision boundary we draw the hyperplane such that they it will increase the maximum number of uh, support vectors maximum number of support vectors anyway increase a vidhanga manam decision boundary anedi draw chestam anamata the space between these two decision boundaries are called street whenever the street size will be increased the maximum num uh, number of support vectors will also be increased whenever your support vectors will be increased the decision making will be more accurate means decision making and the more accurate ga untundi anamata so that is what is fcm regression so here we will uh, uh, thoroughly use three terms the hyperplane kernel and boundary what is an hyperplane a decision boundary hyperplanes are decision boundaries that is used to predict the continuous output the data points on the either side that are closest to the hyperplanes are called support vectors these are used to plot the required line that shows the prediction of the output algorithm meek output lo edaithe meer predict cheyal anukuntunnaro aa prediction ne mottham meeku ikkada chestanu anamata using support vectors so which is chestanu so what is the kernel or kernel trick kernel ledha kernel trick ante enti it is a transformation function where we transform the insolvable problem into solvable problem so it is a transformation function which include set of mathematical uh, function a kernel is a transformation function or it is a set of mathematical function it will transform the non solvable problem into solvable problem these are generally used for finding the hyperplanes in the high dimensional planes that means in the non linear svm the most widely used kernels in linear non linear polynomial radial basis function and sigmoid function by default you have radial basis function as your kernel trick anamata by default allow each of these kernels are used depending upon the data set we upayogichu atuvanti data set aadharanga ee kernels ane upayogistam the kernel trick or kernel is a transformation function it will include set of mathematical function for transforming a non solvable non solvable problem data into solvable problem data so what is a boundary line friends these are the two lines these are the two lines boundary lines are decision making bound decision uh, boundaries are two lines drawn around the hyperplane around the hyperplane means e hyperplane ki both side lo mana draw chestamu at a distance of epsilon so e hyperplane ki ee decision boundary ki ee madhyalo unde atuvanti distance mana ganu pilustam ante epsilon ledha marginal distance ani pilustam it is used to create a margin between the data points so enduku payistan decision boundary ni so in order to maximize the svm svm uh, support vectors ni maximize cheyadaniki upayogistam so in order to the problem of regression is to find a function that approximates the mapping from a input domain to a real number on the basis of any example so where we map the input to data to the output problem so here this will be the hyperplane these two are the decision boundaries for suppose for suppose if your hyperplane is in the form of y equal to wx plus b the hyperplane anedi ee vidhanga undu ankonu so why we are taking y equal to wx b plus b because because you are using the regression algorithms regression svm regression svm lo paykistunnam kabatti the regression is in the form of linear equation linear equation format lo untundi kabatti we are using this equation y equal to wx plus b or this is the equation for slope of a line oka line slope lekka anamata so if this is the hyperplane line ide hyperplane line aithe ee two ఈ టూ వాల్యూస్ ఎలా రిప్రజెంట్ చేస్తామంటే 
then the equation of the decision boundaries become e two decision boundaries e then represent just the one double x plus b equal to positive a or line out on the double x plus b equal to negative a it in co line out on that that means this is the this is the hyperplane y equal to double x plus b if you bring this in this side it becomes y minus double x plus b equal to zero your decision your hyperplane will lies in between positive and negative boundary the decision uh, me hyperplane it uh, 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 positive boundary positive boundary and a negative boundary mother unto that one thus any hyperplane that satisfy our svm should be like this then we look hyperplane and the draws is the svm regression low it will satisfy this equation the equation is compulsory hyperplane and the satisfy chair our main aim here is to decide a decision boundary at a distance from the original hyperplane such that the data point closest to the hyperplane are the support vectors are within the boundary line. My main aim is to fix the decision boundaries. And the decision boundaries, the hyperplane is the decision boundaries. And the distance is the distance. And that is my main aim. So if you fix the distance, the, the street distance, if you fix the street distance, it will maximize your uh, SVMs. We support vectors. I will maximize this. Just like that. Go on. That maximum me data point me data set. Lo, any support vectors. Any one that you. I will most of a street lo cover. I will go on. That such that you need to fix a, fix the, the distance value a. A distance value a. Any video fix a. This distance is also represented using epsilon. Epsilon is representation. Just like that. Any representation. Change that one. Hence. We are going to take only those points that are within the decision boundary. So, because sorry, man, our distance and fixation in Taravata, a boundary law pala yevete untaio, neither street law pala yevete untaio. What ni matra man SVM kenda tensor chasta var. And we have least error rate are are within the margin of the tolerance. So, ella street size ni fixate am valle nante manaku within the uh, street law and SVMs on tie. SVMs and every one of the perfect classify of tie plus make error rate and every Tagutun outliners outliners and every aim lack on the error rate and every Tagutun. This gives us better fitting model. Upon Manako perfect SVM model and every me data set sort of related twenty of perfect SVM model and every Miku generate out. So we can implement the linear SVM from the scalar. So linear uh, linear regression linear regression is the term and the scalar factors need to implement a change. So right, code three lines are called from scalar that SVM import to linear SVM linear SVM import just why linear SVM here we are using the linear classifier. When we create a system linear hyperplane of a system and gravity, the end support vector regression law we are importing the linear the linear SVM, linear SVM, SVR ni and import chasin. What is SVR? Support vector regression. Linear SVR ni upa isna. If you are using the non-linear, a uh, non-linear uh, classifier, the non-linear classifier upa isna nukondi. Then you can import the non-linear SVR. The non-linear SVR ni import chasin. So SVM regression equal to, just it is a variable. Here I am storing linear SVM. Epsilon equal to 1.5. That means I am fixing the Street to distance as 1.5. So from the hyperplane, hyperplane in the distance, in the distance, distance ni, and anta fit just one point five ki fit just another one. SVM regression dot fit of x comma y. So where x is the input variable, y is the output variable. So this is the output for your y value. Y value ka output that is y at r y dash. So where epsilon is 1.5. So if you observe this diagram, so maximum the data points are present within the street. So if you want to data points, maximum miku majority of the data points are present in the within the state. That means the perfect value for your 
straight distance is 1.5 or the perfect a value is 1.5 for this example ఈ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మీకు పర్ఫెక్ట్ ఏ వాల్యూ ఎంత ఎప్సలాన్ వాల్యూ లేదా ఏ వాల్యూ ఎంత అవుతుంది వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ అవుతుంది వన్స్ వీ ఫిక్స్ ద స్టేట్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ ద ఎప్సలాన్ వాల్యూ దెన్ మెజారిటీ యూ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు క్లాసిఫై ఆర్ యూ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు ఐడెంటిఫై మెజారిటీ ఎస్విఎమ్స్ మెజారిటీ ఎస్విఎమ్స్ ని మీరు ఐడెంటిఫై చేయొచ్చు అనమాట వన్స్ యూ నో ద ఎస్విఎమ్స్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ పర్ఫార్మ్ ద క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆన్ యువర్ డేటా సెట్ అనమాట మీకు ఎఫ్సిఎం సపోర్ట్ వెక్టర్స్ అనే ఒకసారి మనం డిరైవ్ చేయగలిగిన తర్వాత సపోర్ట్ వెక్టర్స్ ను ఉపయోగించి మనం క్లాసిఫికేషన్ అనేది చేయొచ్చు అనమాట సో దిస్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ ఎఫ్సిఎం లీనియర్ డెగ్రేషన్ సో ఇస్ ఇట్ జస్ట్ అనే ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ ఫర్ యువర్ రెగ్రేషన్ సో మీకు సెకండ్ యూనిట్ లో వస్తుంది డిగ్రేషన్ అనేది సో దట్ విల్ బి డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ద సెకండ్ 